Hi, I'm Eric with Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com, and today we're doing the 2016 KTM 450 XCF bike build. So today I want to talk about this bike. This is the bike that I've built for the kind of riding I like to do. Um, and, and that is, you know, what we have here in Utah. We've got a lot of open desert. Uh, we have some tight desert. And then of course we have our mountain single track that we like to do in the summertime. So pretty much this bike is, is everything that I've worked on for, for years and years and what I like about motorcycles and what I don't like. And we've, we've put them into this bike and built it just for me. For those of you that aren't familiar with the XCF line, it is basically, this is basically a motocross bike. So it's like an SX. The only thing they've changed, uh, they've, they've put an 18 inch rear wheel on it. They've put a uh, kickstand on it and the suspension settings are a little different. And so it's a pretty fast scooter just to start with. And so basically what I've done is, is changed it. So let's go ahead and go into those changes and we'll go through and I'll, I'll tell you, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down into the, the must haves. So what I think I need to be able to ride this bike and then the nice to haves, which are just like they say. So let's get at it. Moving on to the must haves. So on this bike, you know, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm a full figured type of guy. I, I had to spring this thing up a little bit. There's just no way that you know, the, stock, the stock springs were, were right for the kind of riding I want to do. And to get the, the maximum potential out of this bike, I definitely needed to spring it up. So we sent it off to Precision Concepts. They worked on the valving front and rear. And when I got this bike back, it's a whole different bike. It's definitely tuned for me. It handles better. It doesn't blow through the stroke weird like it did before. I mean, I, they've really done a lot to the forks specifically to make this handle better for me. Moving on to the must-haves, you know, there's, everybody kind of has different must-haves, but next for me is protection. So on the protection, uh, one of the main things is a, a skid plate. And so P3 makes a skid plate that fits really well on the bike. Uh, it's really strong, it's durable. As you can see, I've already taken quite a few chunks out of it. So it's done its job. They also on this bike, the, the four stroke header actually has kind of an expansion chamber is what it looks like. And it's not as durable as, as the headers of old. And so P3 has this really nice guard that, that protects that as well. Moving on to the, the suspension, we've got the Fastway uh, linkage. And it actually replaces the whole linkage on the bottom of this bike. Sometimes when you're hopping logs or or running through rocks that that linkage sticks down too far and it gets hung up and there's a couple ways to go about protecting it but Fastway makes this guard that not only is it adjustable so I can adjust the ride height but it just it's clean it's simple and to be honest I've only gotten hung up on it a couple times I mean as you can see I've definitely gouged it but it's it's worked great it's worked exactly like it's supposed to work and then as far as must-haves go uh, exhaust is a must have for us here in Utah. Uh, we do a lot of this riding up in the mountains. We do a lot of riding on public lands. And so we need to have a spark arrestor. The bike doesn't come with one stock. And so we've put the Lex MXE exhaust on it. And part of that is it has interchangeable tips. And so right now I'm running it. It's, it's the middle of the summer. We're up in the mountains all the time. So I'm running the Trail Saver exhaust insert. And it actually makes it so it's really close to 88, 87 decibels. Uh, it's spark arrested. But at the same time, with this same can, I can open it back up. I can still run a different spark arrester and have it open and go out in the desert and run it. And if I want to run to the track where I don't need a spark arrester, I can pull the cone type spark arrester out and run it at the track. So a ton of versatility with this Lex exhaust. And then next for the must-haves, I, you know, some people don't like handguards. Some people aren't into wraparound handguards. I'm one of the people that can't ride without wraparound handguards. And so I've got the Tusk Deflex system on here. It keeps my hands safe and I can focus on riding instead of what I'm gonna hit with my hands. Along the lines of protection, we've got the Tusk rear disc guard. And as you can see, it's definitely done its job. Now moving on to the nice-to-haves. 
One of my favorite nice to haves is the Tusk Impact Wheel Set. Uh, these are a forged machined hub. It's a 70 series wheel, stainless steel spokes. I think they look great on the bike. While we're talking about the Tusk Impact wheels, I also have another complete rear wheel set with a trials tire on it. So when we go up in the mountains, uh, I really like a trials tire. It, it doesn't impact the trail as much. It hooks up really well, and it, it's such a big carcass that it soaks up all the little rocks and gives you a little bit smoother ride. In the wheels, you know, the tires, we have the Bridgestone Ultra Heavy Duty Tubes. They're almost as good as a moose. I've run these for a long time, and it's the only tube that I'll, I'll have in my bike. We also have the Tusk Typhoon Rotors, uh, stainless steel. They're very affordable. Tires on this bike, we've got the Pirelli Scorpions. Uh, on the front, I'm running the MX Mid Hard, and on the back, I'm running an XC Mid Soft. I really like these tires. They actually are a little, a little softer compound. They feel like they hook up really good, and they're very predictable. Next, we have the primary drive chain and sprockets. The rear sprocket is an aluminum rear sprocket. I really like how the colors offset and complement the white hubs. Also on this bike, we've decided that you know the chain guide needs some reinforcement. This is actually my second chain guide on this bike. KTM makes a part. All it does is it, it reinforces the brackets that keep the chain guide where it needs to be. We also have on this bike the Enduro Engineering Clutch Slave Cylinder Guard and it actually, in case you throw a chain or you're throwing rocks up, it's gonna protect that clutch slave cylinder that sits just in front of the countershaft sprocket. We also have the Tusk kickstand on this bike. The kickstands, uh, the KTM OEM ones, you can break them pretty easy. Anybody that's had a KTM knows that one little tip over and uh, you need a new kickstand. Another nice to have is this Trail Tech fan kit. This thing is super easy to put on. It runs off your battery. It'll cool your bike off when you're up in that tight single track so you don't have an overheating problem. Another nice to have uh, here in Utah, especially, is our Tusk Enduro lighting kit. And this makes it so we can make our bike street legal. So we can, there might be a little piece of single track that's on one side of the road. We can run that part, run down the road a couple miles, jump off and do another piece of single track. And so it ties it all together and it, it makes it so it's really nice. So part of making the bike street legal is having a headlight. And we chose the Baja Designs light. It's the XL version, it's dimmable. It puts out a massive amount of light. Uh, one thing that we needed to do though is we needed to rewind, rewind the stator to make it, the bike put out enough power to push this thing. So it's, it's a pretty simple process. You basically pull your stator, send it to Baja Designs, they rewind it, make the modifications, send it back, you throw it in, and you hook this thing up to your battery. It's simple as that. But to get this on the bike, where this is a 16, they don't really have a headlight mask for it yet. And so I had to take a 2015 headlight mask and I had to do a little bit of modification to make it work, but I'm really pleased with the result. So another really nice to have is the Scott's Stabilizer. And this is a undermount, it uses a, you know, it's kind of a collaboration between BRP and Scott's. It's actually a, a rubber cushioned uh, mount and it sits right underneath the bar. And you know, one of the added benefits of this, I mean, not only does it make your, your bike more calm and some of the high speed stuff, but it also, you know, takes some of the vibration out of the bars, but I wanted to raise my bars a little bit. And this mount actually raises the bars uh, a little under an inch, but it makes the ergonomics just feel perfect for me. So another thing we added is this Tusk radiator cap that incorporates a temperature gauge. Uh, it's, it's nice, you get up in the tight stuff and you're a little worried about how hot your bike's getting and all you have to do is glance down and you can see it. We also added the KTM map switch. Up riding this bike, you know, the first time I really noticed it is I was on a hill, came to a complete stop and I needed to take off again. and. I think KTM did a really good job making this 450 that has a ton of power. I think they made it so it delivered the power nice and easy, so it's controllable. But I think that what happened is it made it so there wasn't enough power down low. So I picked up this map switch, I was able to turn it all the way up, and it makes it so I can actually start off down low 
a little easier. I think it changes that transition and uh, I've been really happy with the results. And lastly, I needed to personalize this bike, make it mine a little bit, so added some brake and clutch master cylinder covers, oil fill plug, uh, and of course the attack graphics. I think it really made this bike look sharp. Well, this concludes the bike build. Um, keep in mind that all these parts, especially the nice to haves, are, you don't have to do them all at once. You know, you can do just little parts and pieces. They're all available online at RockyMountainATVMC.com. If you've liked what you've seen here today, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more bike builds, and thanks for watching.